So welcome back guys to a brand new video now today we're going to be going through the big sponsored map which is obviously one of the most popular ones Tiamat. Now I've been making videos on Tiamat for like over a year and I remember the first one I ever did like the map was barely even made and obviously as time went on and supporting them and stuff they ended up getting sponsored by Wildcard which means that this map obviously gets um, um, obviously money from Wildcard to help it keep on building and getting better and better and better. Obviously when a map is sponsored there's a very very big chance that one day it comes to the official game um, Obviously arc 2 is coming out, but there still is that's not till 2022 and there's still a whole like year probably after Genesis part 2 comes out for another free official map to come We've looked at Olympus. We haven't looked, actually looked at Olympus for a while. We've looked at uh, the Sunken World. We've looked at um, Glacis. We've looked at so many different maps. And one of them will obviously be the final free map. Now, there's a chance that obviously Wildcard might say Arc 2's coming like really, really soon at like the start of 2022. And then we might not get another free map. Um, and it might just come to Arc 2. But I doubt it. I could see Arc 2 coming, you know, in the future sort of side of things of 2022. So still expect another free map as Wildcard always do. Now, obviously, Tiamat has been around for a long time now. And excuse me, Mr. Galley, do you mind ruining our little intro there? But yeah, obviously, this, this map's been out around for a while and there's been big updates. So I'm going to be trying... Do you... He just, he, he just wants... To... Or oh, is it a he or a she? She just wants to be part of the video. I think it's a, a he. They were, just just wanted to stand in, in the video there. But yeah. So we're going to be checking this one out today. Seeing the new updates and stuff. Hopefully this could be the next official one. It, it's really up to you guys. Like, you know, you could just decide what you wanted um, in the comment section and you know and I suppose as a, as a community it's what we really sort of talk about and say that what we prefer and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, but if you guys do enjoy today's video Smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here Let's try and get a thousand likes on today's video um, That would mean a lot to me guys as always and uh, we're getting very very close only like 500 subscribers away from two and um, from 200,000 I wish nearly 190,000 and let's just get in with the gameplay now because uh, that intro went on a bit longer than expected but so as you guys will see, Tiamat is meant to be, and we might get a bit of frame rate at the start because I've only just spawned in, um, and plus, another thing is that I'm working on getting my new PC, and the, the main reason why I'm working on getting a new PC is that I've had this one for a while now, and I want to get one in ready for Arc 2. Um, but as you can see, Tiamat is meant to be something they want to link with the actual story. That's meant to be Aberration, if I'm correct, in the sky, as you guys can see there. Um, this is meant to be after Aberration. Um, so maybe they can find it some sort of way or some sort of link into Arc 2 in the future. That would be interesting. They've got loads of really cool little structures around as well in the background. As you can see, there's even more arcs in the sky. I think that's a new one, actually. That might be... Is that the island? I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but that's a new one they've added in there because before there was only aberration if I'm correct up in the sky um, But they've added lots of stuff to Tiamat. This map is huge Obviously, it's an underwater TLC ocean thing. There's lots of water. That's their main thing um, and their main vibe Look how much there is to explore uh, But yeah, let's explore the rest of the island stuff and see if they've uh, see what stuff they've changed since we've last had a look um I don't think there's any variants, but as you can see, because this is an underwater map, you'll get a lot of the Genesis creatures um, on this one as well. So we could even land on here and uh, and say hello to our little friend here. Should we say hello? Hello, buddy. Thank you for letting us on. Are you, oh, are you going on to land now? He's going on to land. I, I, I wanted to go for a swim, buddy. I wanted to go for a swim. It's really funny when you, when I do a modded map and I see one of the Genesis creatures because you just never see it on the uh, you know on the on the modded version. So as you can see. We've got some pretty cool, I just wanted to look, is that crystal kind of land there? Um, there's still so much to come as you can see, so a lot of this stuff isn't even um, sorted out yet. From what I remember guys, this part of Tiamat gets so, so, so frame ratey for me. Last time, yeah, it's exactly the same as last time, you've got to wait for it all to spawn in. Oh, what is even going on? 
Are these the are these the trees that just aren't rendered? Now bear in mind this this will probably be you'll probably get it better on on your PC um, uh, if if you've got a much pacier one than mine. Mine's still pretty good, but um, uh, t it, you know when it comes to Tiamat and this loading in, it just seems to always be this part of the map because I think it isn't fully finished or rendered. But this is a really cool bit that I like down here. Um, we've got like. A little... Oh, is that actually... Did we see... I don't think we saw this last time. I could be wrong, but look at this. Should we have a little look? It's like a little village, a little... Wow, I really... I do believe they need this more in Ark, in um, like with official maps and stuff. This is why it would be cool. Like little places that are already built that you... Obviously, we need more buildings like this too because they just look so cool. And I'm sure you'll be able to build or maybe make this like a little trade stop or I don't even know. But that is one really cool addition. Um, we're probably going to get some more frame rate as we move up here, especially as we're flying. I don't know what it... No way have they done that. Oh, look at the changes. No way. So we'll get a bit of frame rate as we come in here. But this has changed a lot. And the main bit I'm looking at is at the castle up there. That is so cool. This was not... Do you know last time I looked at Tiamat, guys? This bridge was just a bridge. It was There was no decoration to it whatsoever. There, it was just simply a grey bridge with no design or anything. It's now a full-on... Can we, There's no way we can go through this. No way. They haven't got, gone and done this, have they? What? Oh! Oh, look at that view. This is incredible. You can see why this is sponsored now. This is incredible. Are we? Okay, so this bit hasn't been finished yet, but we, we still get inside the castle. We got bounced up from somewhere, didn't we? I, did we get bounced up from down there? I don't know, but there seems to be some more doors with more places to go into. So should we put ourselves... No, there has been so much done, even beyond. Wow. This is actually one of the best things I've seen for a while. And they've still got their Christmas tree. I, I, I don't know why they've still got their Christmas tree. This is like recently changed, but I suppose... Does it say Merry, <laughs> Merry Christmas? I suppose they haven't actually um, updated this uh, like to get the Christmas tree uh, rid of it since, uh, since their last big one. But this is incredible, guys. I can't believe the changes in the hard work they've been putting into this. There's little watchtowers. And over there, there's going to be more ocean to explore. This is exactly what is needed in Ark. Especially, not only is this needed, but the Castle Keeps and Forts mod would be fantastic for Ark 2. Um, but let's have a little look at this. So we got, this is still to be built, but we've got a little... It goes on for so long as well. It's massive. Absolutely massive. I'm a huge fan, and obviously, as you come across here, these these can be this could be like a bridge where people watch across as like you know and have their arrows that they fire over the top like Vikings or something like that. Wow, is that I thought that was a chest there for a second, but yeah, what a fantastic addition! I'm so proud of the developers, and I think this is obviously like a bit of like where the wow, wow. I'm just gonna, I've that's all I'm going to be saying for this video is just wow, um, and then you can see up there how cool it looks. And I don't know how, how much they've they've added in here, but it looks like they've really developed a lot of this side as well. This wasn't even really done much last time. This that's crazy. Okay, I think that's where we get stopped. Have we been like, where even are we? Oh, we're gonna respawn, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> when you go a bit too far and you sort of speed out, then it will just make you respawn. But do you know what? Tiamat is really getting to a stage now, guys, where pff, it's getting very very popular and. I, I, I will be shocked if after this work they've put in, when this gets finished, I know it's still got a while to go, but if Wildcard take it over, and I would be so shocked if this doesn't make some sort of appearance at some point as the official game. Have we completely frozen? Don't tell me we've completely frozen. Have we, like, crashed our game? I don't even know. If we have crashed our game, then um, we may as we might end it... Oh, no, we don't want to end it there because we want to explore the underwater and see what's changed with the underwater. We'll have to... I thought for some reason we'd already explored the underwater. If it doesn't come back... Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't know whether I was going to crash the game and have to restart again, but um, at least we don't have to restart. So is that the main bit? Okay, interesting. Can we not... Are we not still in creative mode? 
What's going on? There we go. Okay, and then we'll go back in. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we want to explore the underwater side of things now. So we spawn by the other sort of Christmassy side of things as well. And let's get underwater because we've already explored that first bit. This map is massive as well, guys. Right. The, the creature spawns are pretty basic at the moment, though. And they said they would change that. Is that a present? I feel like it's bad for me to be opening presents when it's not Christmas. Should we see if we can open anything? Ooh. They've got us some little Christmas stuff. Well... Thank you, Tiamat, but I think I'll be leaving that because there's still another 10 months to go. Um, should we jump in? Oh, nice. Look at this, guys. This is what I tell you about an underwater TLC. It's fantastic. And what we can actually do is we can force tame this guy here. Um, and then we can hop on it and have a little ride around and see what we can see. Okay, let's do movement speed. Okay. Nice. We're going to be getting loads of levels quickly. So maybe this... I don't think a lot of this is going to be done. No, it's just smoke. Okay, so pretty much the underwater side of things is still to come. Because I think they're, work, they're probably... What is this? This oh, I suppose this is like the obelisk thing we walked past. Um, so swimming all the way around. It looks pretty cool from underneath. Um, got some more little... Uh, man, man, we've got some more little fishies down here as well. Um, there's more to explore down this way by the by the looks of things. Should we level ourselves up? Do we just want movement speed? I suppose we could do a bit of a bit of stamina, but um, yeah, wow, they they've really impressed me. Do you know what I, guys? I checked out Tiamat last time, and I'm going to be 100% honest with the developers, even though they watch this as well. And I watched it, and I when I played it when I last did my last review, and I thought. Obviously, fantastic map still, but I was saying, I was thinking to myself, I don't really feel like loads and loads have changed, but this time it's it's shocked me. It really has. They've really impressed me, and I don't know about you guys, but I'd love to see what happens with this map because there's so much potential. Really, really is. Um, okay, we'll just up the movement speed there, um, and uh, so we'll swim around as much as we can just so you guys can get in the landscape um, of the well, Landscape is that even the word for the underwater? Um, and is them all oh, there's more to go over here. I just don't want to miss out on anything, but I feel like at the moment that might be the standard thing that we really have we've really looked at. Well, yeah, I'm very, very impressed. They have to really think to themselves, they've got to be some high, high tier modders. Because when I first promoted Tiamat, I didn't realize that they were this good. If you know what I mean, like I knew they were gonna have, they had a good idea, but I was shocked when I found out it's this good. Um, okay, I think that's where it ends there. But there's probably there's well, when I said there's probably there's still so much to come, and you know you can check them out, um, Tiamat on like their socials and um, all the different pages and stuff to see how the progress is gonna push forward and you know what's gonna happen with it and what's the roadmap and the and I'm sure they've got some form of contact. Ooh. Um. Um. <laughs> well, interesting. Um, I didn't expect to see that there. <laughs> oh, interesting. Welcome to Tiamat. Uh, but yeah. Um, that is pretty much what I was going to go through there. Uh, that kind of just caught me off guard a little bit. I didn't expect to see that in the ocean of Tiamat at the moment. But they have really cool creatures. They've got Genesis creatures on here. They've got so much more that you can explore. And to be honest, it's at that stage where I do feel like you could come on and start building a little bit. Maybe not playing official official yet. Um, but it's getting there. It really is. And I definitely recommend you check this out. What I'm going to do before the video ends is what I usually do when I do this, the sponsored maps is I come all the way up to the top and we have a little, we're probably going to end up, we don't want to get to the point where we uh, we stop spawning. So we've got the icy bit over there. We've got a, an area still to be built here and we've got the big mass of water which goes on all the way over here. Look how far it goes. We'll probably end up like, un, we'll probably end up getting respawned again, aren't we? Can we get even get over here? <laughs> Look how far we're going. <laughs> Look how small. I want to see... Okay, there is a boundary here. But they, I think they're even planning on expanding all the way over there as well. I mean, 
Look at this map. There's so much to come. Make sure to go and support it, guys. Drop a like on today's video as well. A thousand likes would be great. Subscribe if you're new around here. And wow, this map has really impressed me.